Gran Turismo is a 4.5 star movie and truly the surprise of the year. Here's why. It's got a fantastic story, script, direction, and an ultimate message. Now, I was not familiar with the story of Jan Martinborough. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, please forgive me as this video goes. In fact, going in, I thought this was made up for the movie and I liked the idea. To be honest, the idea is so wild that it couldn't possibly be, be true, but it is, and that's insane. Gran Turismo players so good, they got the chance to compete in real life and race with the big leagues, becoming professionals themselves. The real life Jan was actually the stunt double in the driving scenes for the racing in the film for the lead actor. How is that not awesome? Now, this could easily have been a stupid bio pick cash grab that attempts nothing new or tries too hard to be edgy, but it actually relies on the most important things. Strong characterization, worthwhile themes, and rock solid direction. The core characters and their relationships are easy to buy into. As a gamer myself, I was rooting for Jan the whole time. His relationship with his father brought me to tears, and it's incredibly moving seeing them be estranged due to differences, only to understand one another fully by the movie's end and reconcile. And as a dad, now, it, myself, it, it's hard. The romance angle was a bit weak, but it does add a coming of age dimension to the proceedings. I also thought that the other drivers in the tests and training could have been explored a lot more as they're mostly forgettable or paper thin cliches to further the story. That's fine as the film never loses focus, but it does seem a bit too straightforward in the genre in that sense. David Harbour is as lovable as ever, bringing nuance and depth to the classical coaching role. I'm gonna probably butcher this name too, but uh, Jiman Hasu is perfect, as always, as the father who just wants the best for his son to protect him. Another hard name, Archie Mendekwe nails it as Jan, bringing you both gravitas and conviction to a role that is not easily played or could sound ridiculous in dialogue delivery. Orlando Bloom is so good, we get to see him back in something. But we should have gotten to know his character more as he comes off as a bit of a marketing slimeball phony and never really goes beyond that as his interests never represent anything more than the brand and his personal self-interest by and large. You never really buy into him as an actual character or his relationships, though their performance is solid. There has been some controversy around the usage of an incident in Martin Burroughs' career with a crash that killed a bystander. This did really happen in real life, but apparently later than the movie depicts it. Now, I get that sentiment, and I can understand why it wasn't necessary. If you remove it, though, it seems as though they aren't addressing the elephant in the room. But by including it, and therefore earlier within the story, it's not used to mind drama from tragedy or to be clickbaity in that sense, or just to be shocking, but to reinforce Jan's journey and the goal that the film couldn't achieve so well without somehow including that in his journey because it's such an important part of it in real life. This is artistic license. It does shorten the timeline, but it's handled with grace and respect and ultimately I appreciate what they were going for by addressing it head on instead of trying to avoid it. And in fact, probably informed a lot of his choices in real life as it did in the movie, just maybe at a different point. Neil Blomkamp flexes his directorial muscles so well in every instance, but here really shines in the races. Not only are they expertly crafted with cinematography, editing, and sound design, but the way in which it translates the feeling of pro players becoming a racer. And that's something I didn't expect to see done, or especially done so well. The gamer in me was beside himself. And I don't even play Gran Turismo that much, I'm just kind of less than a filthy casual. I just understood the visuals and the journey I saw from playing games so much. This feels like the story of Rocky, except Rocky is a gamer playing fighting games that wants to be a boxer. It works, and it ends up not only being an inspirational sports movie educating about the dangers of racing, but also the dangers of video games. There is a very real addictive quality to them. That the film does hammer home can be dangerous and unrealistic for so many people. It almost destroys Jan's life and all of his relationships. And maybe they could have hit on that a little harder or where he runs from the law. But in there, there's also inherent positivity in gaming that can give people access to dreams they never could have achieved or didn't know that they had. And how gaming transports us into these wildest aspirations. Jan got a chance to prove himself and everyone doubted him and he proved them all wrong. Showing how important this game was to him and his career, but also how well made it is in simulating driving. What a fairly balanced yet ultimately positive message for gaming as a whole. It may border on cliche at times, but it showcases that through the generational divide of understanding gaming that most gamers can understand and relate to. All in all, I love this film and it's one I'll be revisiting often. It's one of the best of 2023 for sure. And I'm shocked to say that as someone who doesn't even play Gran Turismo often, like I mentioned, as you guys know, I always try to look for the good and I appreciate this film so much and what it tried to do. And if you like that style of reviewing, go ahead and smash that like button and hit subscribe or ring the bell for more notifications. But all that to say, Gran Turismo, freaking great movie. I hope Sony continues to make more movies from their games in this vein with intention. And that's why Gran Turismo is 4.5 out of 5 stars. Thanks so much for watching and remember, always look for the good.